I, I was reading mixed reviews on what contracts I can bring over to the brokerage. And um, I think like, I don't know if it's listings you have to leave with your old brokerage or is it, uh, you know. It's my understanding you can bring all of them over as long as you have the permission of the, the other broker. Yeah, so I gotta figure out how to do that in the next and i mean hillary i mean hillary correct me if i'm wrong is that correct you can bring everything over as long as the other broker signs off on it yeah i think it's fine as long as the broker is willing to let that client go because ultimately it's their client it i would just ask honestly mm -hmm. ask the previous broker hey. as far as contracts though i don't know that's well like this is a purchase that i'm on and i've already assigned actually but I'm also on as the agent. So it's kind of- So you're- The agent or the wholesaler, because I don't think you can do both. You can't assign yeah. an agent. You have to take one hat off and either represent somebody in the transaction or not, rep not, not represent anybody in the transaction and be a wholesaler in the transaction. Does that make sense, Ryan? Yeah. Um, I don't know who to represent if I'm representing myself and I'm buying it myself. Uh, I was going to buy it myself and the deal didn't work for me, but I could wholesale it. You would just have to assign it between, is it like, are you with the seller? You no. have a contract with the seller? You have I, have a contract. Contract. I, had a I have a contract with the seller to purchase his property. Let me, let me right. real quick. I, I think just to clarify what Hillary's asking, I think, do you have an exclusive right to sell with the home seller? No, I'm not. He's represented by a seller's agent. Oh, okay. Then I'm the buyer and the buyer's agent. You would. Okay. So then you're not a, it's not a wholesale transaction. You're just buying it like a normal transaction. But I have annual not. signs and I did assign my contract. I did so assign. You have a buyer on the back end, not you. Right. Then you wouldn't be a buyer's agent. You would just be the wholesaler on the transaction. And you your fee wouldn't be coming from the seller. Your fee would be, be coming from the buyer. So the buyer you're, needs to know that they pay your fee. You're going to be the missing. The seller is you're paying a commission. I want to be, be, I want, I'm going to have to figure out how to get all, because I want all of this, because it, like, it's. I don't think you can make a 3% commission and an assignment fee. So I'll have to. Unless. I'll reduce the, I'll reduce the uh, purchase price by 3% with the seller and add that into the assignment fee then. So that's probably your best bet. Net, net, same to the buyer. Correct. That, I, that's what I was thinking. I think that would be your best bet. However, go back and there's a video. Um, are y'all still looking at my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I think I just posted it from last week where Hillary, Eric, and I were all talking. Um, also, real quick, Ryan. Um, yeah, right here. If you decide to do, then be the wholesaler and not the agent, you'll just need to terminate your buyer rep agreement with your buyer and explain that you're you're just the whole well, he was he was I'm the buyer there's no buyer rep he, okay got it i see what you're saying my llc I would, I, my llc is the buyer and or assigns and i was going to buy it for myself to do a development on and it didn't work out but i instead of letting the contract go i found someone to wholesale it to essentially Okay, so then you what, have a buyer. Yeah. Part of my total compensation on the whole deal is that 3% plus, you know, um, plus the, the, the assignment fee. So I just- Yeah, I, I, would reduce, I would reduce that say saying, hey, look, I'm not gonna take commission on this. Um, the, the the agent rep, yeah. but, but you're gonna have to make sure that that agent understands that he's got to alter his buyer's rep agreement i mean seller's rep agreement or seller's whatever because he, yeah whatever it is because he's going to have to remove six percent drop it down to three percent because you don't want him coming back going uh-uh you said six percent on this piece of paper 
Yeah, so technically the seller is just paying the 3% and then what your buyer's price is going to increase? No, the buyer's price will stay constant. The seller's price is, is more than what I'm paying because that's where my assignment fee comes in. And you're going to want to, you know, alter the contract because I'm sure you got 3% on that. So you're going to need to amend that. Tell them, and then so amend, take off the 3%. Really drop the uh, drop the price three percent, which you should be able to do all that on one amendment. And then you need to make sure you have that exhibit alpha as well. I have that technically. Well, it, the verbiage is in there because of my assignment verbiage. It's probably lines up, but it's not under white line. So I'll have to figure that out if I move it over. Otherwise, I'll just leave it. I don't know. I'll work on that. I just. You know, that's what one thing I have to deal with on this deal. So, yeah, that's a fun contract. I think I would just amend those two things. I drop the price by three percent, take that off of there, just saying, "Hey, look, I don't want my three percent. I just want the price reduced by that." And then they should be and just explain that, saying, "Hey, look, I'm buying it. You know, I'm. I just don't want the commission. There's no point in it. I'd rather pay, bring less money to the table." Okay. Good question. I like brain teasers. I'm like trying to like wrap my head around it because whenever I wholesale a transaction, like I never represent myself as a realtor. But if I'm buying a property personally, that's not a wholesale transaction. I do represent myself as a buyer, but I never try and combine both in one. Well, I think why Hillary is because this sounds like you found it in the MLS. Right. So you found it in the MLS. So the 3% was up for grabs. Why not? Right. Well, and my original intent was to buy it and keep it. It wasn't, I didn't buy it as a wholesale deal. It turned into a wholesale right. deal. And, and I Which want I, that 3% <laughs> because the seller is offering it. Um, it just gets tricky with like, yeah, I know they're offering it, but you're, so I'm still trying to understand you're saying you can't end up buying it, so you have a buyer who is going to buy it, right? The sign or right. So, I mean, I guess you should ask Eric. But from my understanding, you can't represent people if you're wholesaling it and you're doing both at this point. Since you're not buying it yourself and you yeah. have a back end buyer, that's technically wholesale, unless you're just straight up representing them. But then it wouldn't be a contract between the seller and you, it would be a contract between the seller and the buyer, unless you want to terminate that contract and add the buyer in there, then you can make that 3%. But you can't, you can't do both yeah. from my understanding. Cause you'll get like, that's where like tricks, like you can't, you know, like, how are you, you can't represent somebody and then be a wholesaler at the same time. Well, it, it, that's, that's why I would do the exhibit alpha because in exhibit alpha, it, it plainly states that you're not, hold on. It says uh, that in my, I got that in my assignment contract um, with, yeah, the, it, cause that's all the same. It, yeah. I got it from. Yeah. But it, and then when you do that, I say, Hey, I need you to sign this. I, I you know, I don't want you to think I'm representing. Uh, I, I mean, that guy's represented, so I'm not worried about that. I would definitely have the end buyer sign this saying, Hey, I do not represent you. I would. So now that point you are not representing anybody. I would take the 3% off and just ask for a price reduction. Yeah, I'll work. I'll work on cleaning that up. That was a good question. Yeah, that was fun. My mind is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> I got you. All right, y'all go eat lunch. Thank you.